option now to Harvin and Linda Round. Trying to go to the opposite side of the right. To the 20, to the 15, to cut back inside the 10. Spinning to the goal line. Oh, my! Hurry in, Harvin! Adams dropping back into some pressure. Eric Harvey's got him, and he sacks him! Drops back, looks to throw. He's got Lewis Murphy with a catch, breaks a tackle. He will score! Lewis Murphy! Finds it open, gonna run the ball up the middle of the field. He's spinning down toward the goal line. He's in. Touchdown! Tim Tebow scored. The defending national champion Florida Gators would start their 2007 season with a pair of non-conference games. First up was Western Kentucky. After the Hilltoppers arrived in Gainesville, they claimed the swamp wasn't that impressive. Coach Meyer had some thoughts on that. Big mistake in the world of mistakes. Huge mistake. Huge mistake. The Gators wasted little time showing the Hilltoppers what it's like playing in the swamp. There's the snap. Tebow drops back one step. Now looks to throw. Now steps. Going to run the football. To the 15. To the 20. Makes the man miss at the 20. He's outside to the 25. Near side to the 30. And he scampers out of bounds at the 33 yard line. There's the snap to Tebow. He looks to throw. Coming down the left sideline. He's got a receiver. Bubba Colwell wide open. He makes the catch. And he's down inside the 20 yard line. And Tebow is going to take the ball and surge straight forward. Touchdown. Tim Tebow. Touchdown. There's the snap to Black, under some pressure, trying to step up, he's hit, and he'll go down, sack! There's Tebow stepping up, now dropping back, looking to throw, and firing a deep ball, he's got a wide open receiver, he is going to be caught, Riley Cooper will dance in, touchdown, oh my! And Tebow takes a step forward, now steps back, throws the ball, slides it in there, and he's got a receiver, Percy Harvin, touchdown! Black dropping back to throw, lobs the ball out here to the right, and Dustin Doe covers down the receiver, and he knocks him down in a hurry. Easton Moore, the deep back. Here's the handoff to Moore, running off the left side behind a wall of blockers. He's in. Touchdown, Easton Moore with a four-yard score. There's the snap to Black. He's under pressure. He'll be hit and drop as Derek Harvey gets the sack. The Gators came away with a 49-3 win and some well-earned respect from Western Kentucky. Next on the schedule was Troy, a contender in the improved Sun Belt Conference and a team Florida wasn't going to take lightly. You be the best at what you do. Everybody take care of each other, you're 2-0. Get the 2-0. There's the snap, a little high. The kick has been blocked. The Gators block the ball. It's down at the nine yard line, inside the nine, down near the five yard line, and the Gators, oh my! After Tebow looking to throw, lobs the ball to the middle. We've got Murphy at the five, breaking a tackle, getting inside down near the one yard line. Out of the stack, eye, the handoff to Keiston Moore, hurtling over, and he's in for the touchdown. Keiston Moore with the initial score. Though the Trojans answered back with a touchdown, special teams magician Brandon James responded. It's it high, end over end. Nice.
Nice kick taken down at the four yard line by James. 10 front side, 15 20. James 25 30. James on the sideline 40. James 45. James at midfield. James at the 45. James inside the 40. And he finally got caught from behind. There's a snap to Tebow running straight ahead off the left side. He's going to power his way in. Tim Tebow touchdown. The Gators defense would slow down Troy. Here's a swing pass out to Davis, and it's broken up. Batted down by Derek Harvey. Tim Tebow and the Gator offense started to take control. They got four receivers on the left. The pass swings out here left side. Murphy on the catch. Breaks it back on the 42 to the 40. Inside the 30. Inside the 27 to the 25-yard line. Tebow in the shotgun. Calling for the ball. There is the snap. Tebow, one step drop. Looks to throw to the middle of the field. Has C.I. It's Ingram at the 20. Inside the 15. Freddie Lee Ingram down to the 11-yard line. Tebow in the shotgun takes the snap. One step drop, throws the ball to the end zone. He rifles it in the air. It's going to be caught. It's a touchdown for Percy Harvin. After a Florida special teams partially blocked punt, Tebow took to the field. Here now Tebow taking a step forward, dropping back the throw. Fires got a receiver at the 30 yard line. A nice catch there for the Gators. Cornelius Ingram. He breaks a tackle. Coming to the near sideline. Inside the 15. Tebow calling for the ball, handing it off to Moore, getting down low off the left side. He's in. Touchdown. Easton Moore. Then the Florida defense went to work on Troy's quarterback, Omar Hogabuck. Hogabuck takes the snap. Looks like he wants to run. He's in trouble. He'll be hit and drop. Oh, my. The ball comes loose. It is a fumble. And the Gators are going to pick it up. A big play for Florida. The rest of the first half was a Gator offensive highlight reel. There's a snap to Bubba Caldwell. He's going to make a jab step right. Go left. Run the ball. 10, 5. Coming near side with a cut. He's going to take it all the way in. Touchdown. Oh, my. Bubba Caldwell. Here's the snap to Tebow, looking, throwing in the end zone. He's got Ingram, touchdown! Oh, my, T.I. There's the snap to Tebow. He's looking, he's looking, he's under some pressure. He throws the ball, he's got a receiver in the end zone. Call for a touchdown! Oh, my! Though Troy scored a few meaningless touchdowns late in the game, the Gators held on for an impressive 59-31 win, and the Gators came away with a dominating 500 yards of total offense. Week three was the start of SEC league play, and Tennessee came to Gainesville on a mission. Phil Fulmer's volunteers had yet to beat Urban Meyer's Gators, but Florida came in focused and ready, starting with special teams MVP, Brendan James. The Gators set up a return. Colquitt's kick is away, a very nice kick. Back to the 17-yard line, James, to the 20, to the 25, in front of here to the left, 30. He's got an opening to the 40. James in midfield. James trying to outrun the kicker. He's might take it all the way. He's going all the way. Oh, my. Brandon James has just run back the opening punt of the game for an electrifying Florida Gator touchdown. Oh, my. The Gator defense was also pumped up and ready to play. Off again to Foster trying to run, and again the Gator line pitches down off to the defensive left side. Ainge on the shotgun, calling for the ball, taking the snap, the short drop, looks and looks and throws here, and the pass is going to be intercepted. It's going to be picked off by the Gators. Oh my! Here's a toss coming to Coker trying to go left. Gators string out the play, and there they go. They finish it off. Derek Harvey. Tennessee would come away with only three. Tim Tebow and the offense then went on the attack. Ingram comes in motion here now as a flip to Harvin on an end around to the right side. Harvin with the ball. Harvin hitting the 38, breaks the tackle. He's out across the 40. He's out across to the 45 yard line. Tebow, he looks to throw and fires the ball down the field for Cornelius Ingram. Great catch! There's the snap with Tebow. Takes one jab step forward, drops back, looks to throw. Fires for Cooper toward the end zone. He's got it. He's there! Touchdown! Two, two, two. On the next series, the Gators again only allowed the Vols a field goal. The Gators would start the first of two big drives with the help of return specialist Brandon James. End over end kick, and it's coming down at the hash near side for James. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. James skipping out the 40, and he got caught down. There's the snap to Tebow looking to run it. He's got running room. 45, pop to the outside. Tebow to the 40. Tebow 35 near sideline. Oh, what a run. Tebow dropping back under some pressure. Now flushed out of the pocket. Rolling off to his left. He fires the ball toward the sideline. And a catch made there for the Gators. Keaston Moore. He came back and made the catch. Tebow with the gun. And uh, he fakes the handoff. Keeps the ball to his left side. Going to run the ball to the 20, to the 15. Tebow taking the snap. Going to run the ball straight up the middle of the field. Touchdown. 
Tebow in the gun. And now Tebow fakes to Harbin, rolls off to the right, looks to throw the wall, a wobbly ball, but it's caught. Downfield, there's Murphy. There's the snap, and it's a handoff to Faison. Off the left side, he pops into the secondary. Faison, hip it and rip it inside the 30, and down to the 24-yard line. Here's the snap to Tebow. Tebow looking to throw, wide open receiver, quarantined in the end zone, touchdown! Cornelius Ingram, oh my, he was all alone! The Gators finished the half with two more scores, and the Florida defense limited the frustrated ball offense to just one touchdown. Florida came out in the second half with all cylinders firing. A Vols pick for a touchdown only delayed the inevitable. Then it was the Gators' turn. Enter Dustin Doe. Here's a handoff to Foster. He fumbles the football. A loose ball down to the field. It's up for grabs. Picked up by Dustin Doe. He's going to take it all the way. There you go, Dustin Doe. Oh, my. From there, it was a Gator offensive avalanche. There's the snap to Tebow. Tebow from the end zone looks to throw the ball down the field for Harbin. He's got it. Tebow takes the snap. Tebow rolling left, wanting to throw, fires the ball back inside. He's got a receiver, David Nelson. Here's the snap to Tebow, got an option now to Harbin on an end around. Trying to go to the opposite side of the right, to the 20, to the 15, to cut back inside the 10, 20 to the goal line. Oh, my! Julian Harbin, you just scored a touchdown on a magnificent 19-yard run through the Tennessee defense. Tebow in the shotgun, takes that jab step forward, drops back and throw, and airs it out. Fires a deep ball down the field, and it's going to be deflected, and it's going to be caught. Tebow in the gun, takes the snap, looks like he wants to run, looking for running room, finds an opening, goes up and scores a touchdown. Touchdown, Tebow. It's the Gators, 48, and Tennessee, 20. Florida finished off the Vols with some help from freshman Jeremy Finch and Cameron Newton. The final score... Florida 59, Tennessee 20. And the numbers were staggering. 255 yards rushing, 299 yards passing for a remarkable 554 yards of total offense. The Gators had definitely made a statement in the SEC East. The first game away from the swamp was at Ole Miss. The Gators' Brandon James got things started on the opening kickoff. And they kick it to, to James, who will get the ball at about the 13-yard line. To the 20, to the 25, to the 30, up the middle of the field, to the 50. There goes James to the 40. The outside spinning away, trying to break a tackle, and slips out to the round the 30-yard line. After a frustrating offensive start and Ole Miss holding a 3 to nothing lead, Tim Tebow and the offense took the field ready to roll. Hands it off to James, running to the boundary. At the 50, at the 45, skips inside the 45, down to the 41-yard line in the gun with no backs. Takes the snap and hit quick throw off to the left for Harvin. He makes the catch first down. Inside the 25, breaks a tackle. Still on his feet, spinning inside the 20, trying to get inside to the 19-yard line. Percy Harvin. Tebow in the gun, fakes left, now throws the ball back right, swings underneath for Harvin, at the 15, makes a man miss at the 10, to the 5, still on his feet, and pounding in for a touchdown! Oh my, that was a beautiful run! The Gator defense again shut down the Rebels, only letting them escape with three. Florida's offense began clicking. Here now is a handoff coming to Keiston Moore off to the left, to the 35, to the 40, Keiston Moore with a nice run. Here's Tebow looking to throw, fires to Harvin on the screen, at the 45, Harvin to the 40, Murphy throws a block out in front, Harvin gets inside, down to the 31-yard line. Tebow all alone, takes the snap, under pressure, throws the ball out here to James, at the 22, makes a man miss, the 15, skips inside the 10, and down to the 9-yard line. First and goal, 9-yard line, there's the snap to Tebow, trying to run inside, now pops off to the left, and runs hard inside the 5, down to the goal line, he's in, touchdown! A powerful run! The Florida D would finish the half in style. Adams takes the snap on a play action, drops back, looks to throw, swings it out to the left, and it is incomplete. Gator defense digs in, there's the snap. Adams backpedaling, looking to throw in, there's a pressure. He'll be hit, he'll be dropped, he's sacked. Adams dropping back, in there's a pressure. Derek Harvey's got him, and he sacks him. Derek Harvey with his third sack of the season. Tim Debo and the Gator offense would start the second half with a balanced attack. There's the snap to Tebow. He hands it off to Moore, running off to the boundary left, skipping across, hipping and ripping to the 35 to the 40. And out to the 44-yard line, a beautiful run. 
Here's a running play to Moore again. He's into the secondary at the 45-yard line. Still running hard inside the Ole Miss 40. Now here's Tebow looking to throw and fires the ball down. And receiver downfield, a catch made. First down, Lewis Murphy. The snap to Tebow. He looks to pass, now steps up to run. Here's off to the left, and he will go in for a touchdown. Tim Tebow takes it in, and the Gators now lead 20-6. to six. Florida's defense would struggle, but again held the Rebels to a field goal. The Gator offense was starting to find its rhythm. Here's Tebow dropping back, looking to throw. Fires over the middle of the field. Got Ingram at the 45, inside the 40. There's the snap. Tebow jabs, step forward, drops back, looks to throw. He's got Lewis Murphy with a catch, breaks a tackle. He will score. Lewis Murphy, give him six. After back-to-back -back Ole Miss touchdowns, the Gator defense finally stepped up. Play to Ben Jarvis Green Ellis, and he runs right into Dustin Doe. Adams in the shotgun, taking the snap, looking to throw, and fires down the field. It's intercepted. He overthrew the receiver, and the Gators get an INT. After some key first downs and a clutch Joey Ehas field goal, the Gators finished out the game for a hard-fought 30-24 SEC road win. After a last-second loss to Auburn, Florida headed to the Bayou for a primetime showdown with number one-ranked LSU Tigers. It's on! It's on! Baby. It's on! It's on! It's on. It's on. It's on. It's on. It's on. Do your job as hard as you go. Hard you go, you win this game. There's a snap to Tebow. Tebow dropping back, stepping up, looks to throw the ball. He's got a receiver at the 50-yard line. A catch there made for Lewis Murphy. There's the snap to Tebow. He's going to run. He's got a first down, and he gets inside the 40, inside the 35, and finally run down at the 34-yard line. Here's the handoff to Moore. Breaks the tackle, 35 to the 30. Skips inside the 30. Still running hard inside the 25. Keystone Moore with Moore. There's the snap. The set down. The kick is up, and it is good. From the 40-yard line, Flynn hands it off to Keelan Williams, and he's hit immediately. Dropped by Derek Harvey. Flynn takes the snap and looks off to the left. The throw, LaFell had it, and it's going to be deflected and intercepted. Joe Hayden has a pick for Florida. Hayden with the football. After Joe Hayden's pick, the fired-up Gator offense took to the field on a mission. Tebow with a shotgun, fakes the ball to Moore, now looks to throw the ball, and zings it down for Harvey, and he makes the catch inside the five-yard line and tackled down at the one-yard line. There's the snap to Tebow, trying to run off to his left, but looks like he might want to throw. He's surveying the field, tries to come left, now throws into the end zone, and there's Keaston Moore! It's a score! Touchdown! Oh, my! Tebow baited him to the last moment, and then he's tossed one to Moore, and it's 9 to nothing. The Gator D put up a good fight with the Tigers, but LSU managed to come away with seven. Florida's offense wasn't backing down. Tebow all alone on the gun. He takes the snap under some inside pressure. Now pops out to the outside to the 25 and throws the ball down the field. He's got Keaston Moore at the 45 up to the 48-yard line. And Mason has the fake as Tebow takes the ball and runs it. Off the left side, getting inside the 15 and down to the 12-yard line. Here's Tebow rolling to the boundary, faking a pass, going to try and run to the 10, to the 5, and wide open. He'll take it in and score! Touchdown, Tebow! Oh, my! Heading into the half, Florida safety Dorian Monroe's pass breakup helped in keeping LSU from scoring three on a field goal. On the opening LSU drive, the Tigers' fake field goal play gave them enough to set up a touchdown. Florida 17, LSU 14. Tim Tebow and the Gator offense put together a big drive. No backs. Here's Tebow dropping to throw and fires up the middle for Harvin. Harvin makes the catch. That's a first down. Here's now Tebow getting the ball off to Moore. Moore running straight ahead into the secondary with the first down inside the 45. Inside the 40 and tackled finally at the 37-yard line. Here's Tebow looking off to the right. Now stepping to throw over the middle of the field. Wide open for C.I. Quarantine all alone. Touchdown. Oh, my. Cornelius Ingram all alone. Scores. The Florida defense hung tough. And Scott takes the handoff, and he is tackled inside the 45 of the 44 yard line. 39 from the 43. And Flynn to throw, and it's batted down as that time a Gator lineman got a hand up. It was Jermaine Cunningham who broke it down at the line of scrimmage. Although the Florida D kept the Tigers scrambling with some key plays from Joe Hayden. Gives it off to Williams, trying to run off to the left. And a great tackle made there by Joe Hayden. Jock Rickerson. Holiday getting a handoff, and he gets hit and driven back by Jock Rickerson, the corner. And Derek Harvey. Here's Perlou on an option, going to try and run, and he'll get cut down. It had been a clash of titans, and the Tigers barely escaped with a win in this epic battle. The Gators had a bye week heading into the Kentucky game. 
led by Andre Woodson and coming off a huge win against number one ranked LSU, the Wildcats were on a roll. Though Kentucky scored on their opening drive, Florida answered back. Here's Tebow going to run the ball off right tackle and break a tackle, 25, 30, knock a man over 32-yard line and get out to the 35-yard line. Tebow dropping back under pressure, rolls left, throws it out to Curtis Singham. He makes the catch for the first down. First and 10 Gators, the 47-yard line. Here's a play coming to the left side for Harvard. He turns the corner, near sideline, inside the 40. Tebow dropping back and looking to throw, and he's got the ball thrown, and it's going to be a catch, a juggling catch made there by the Gators at the 10-yard uh, line. And there's the stamp to Tebow, rolling to his right, looking to throw. Swings it out for Ingram, six-yard line, turn the corner, get to the pylon, he's in! Touchdown, T.I. on the score. The Gator defense was playing with passion. And Woodson dropping back, now stepping up, and he'll be hit, and he'll be dropped this time. There's the snap to Woodson on a play action. He rolls right, he's in trouble, and he'll be hit, and he'll be dropped. Oh, my! And the potent Tebow to Murphy connection came up big. There's Tebow, now on the rocking step, drops back, looks to throw the ball deep down the field, streaking down for Lewis Murphy. He makes the catch, and he's going to score. Oh, my! Touchdown! 66-yard bomb! Tebow to Lewis Murphy, and the Gators have taken the lead. Building on that momentum, the Florida Deep kept the Wildcats at bay. They're going to run the ball to Dixon, and Dixon is hit and dropped immediately as Brandon Spikes, the middle linebacker, got in there. Here's a running play to Tony Dixon off the left side, and Dixon is hit at the line of scrimmage. Kentucky came away with only three, and the Gators wasted no time with their assault, starting with the always dangerous Brandon James. Here comes the Kentucky kickoff. It's end over end. Will be returned from the one yard line. Far hash. James 10, 15, 20. James 25 through the hole. 35, 40. James down the left sideline in Kentucky territory. Running out of bounds. Here's Tebow dropping the throw and firing a ball down near the goal line. It's going to be caught. Tebow in the gun takes a snap. Watch the run. Now jump pass into the end zone. Wide open. It's a touchdown. Aaron Hernandez. After a big sack by Justin Trateau, Florida finished the half up 21 to 10. The Gators came out in the second half on fire. Caldwell now goes in motion, takes an inside handoff. Caldwell off to the left, trying to turn the corner, breaks the tackle. Inside the 20, down the sideline, inside the 15, inside the 10, and finally shoved out of bounds. Tebow looking to throw, in some trouble. Rushes off to the left, fires the ball to the end zone, got a receiver there. He's caught it, touched down. It's Bubba Caldwell, and it's now 27 to 10. But Kentucky responded with a touchdown. Florida came back with three points, and the Gator defense kept Woodson running, but the Wildcats managed to score on a long bomb. Florida fired right back. There's the snap to Tebow. Tebow looks to throw the ball to Colwell. He's got a catch at the 40. Gators first down inside the 25, and here's an inside handoff to the left for Harvard to the 20, Harvard to the 15, Harvard to the 10, Harvard to the 5. Touchdown! Oh, mercy, mercy! The Gator defense picked up the pace. Woodson back to pass. He's hit. And he's thrown down by Jermaine Cunningham, who sacks him. Here now is Woodson dropping back under some pressure. He's hit, and he'll be sacked again. The Wildcats managed another score, narrowing the Florida lead to seven. But Florida wouldn't back down. Tebow takes the snap, and now Pump Fake's going to throw the ball deep, long, down to Harbin. Harbin makes the catch. Tebow without a rushing touchdown today. Takes the snap, now will run, and get into the end zone. Touchdown, Tim Tebow! Although the Wildcats would score again late in the game, it wasn't enough, and the Gators left Kentucky with a big win. Final score, Florida 45, Kentucky 37. After a tough loss in Jacksonville to Georgia, Florida returned to the swamp for its homecoming game against Vanderbilt. This was an improving Vanderbilt team that had upset South Carolina. It's a game of inches, man! Take care of your job. 11 men doing your job, you win. Tebow, one step, drops back, throws over the middle. He's got Colwell, 45, 50, into Vandy territory. They fake it to Harmon, and Tebow wants to throw a deep ball down the sideline for Murphy. He's up, and he makes the catch, and he's down at the three-yard line. A beautiful 39-yard pass. In the shotgun, Tebow takes the snap, looks to run off right side. He'll just waltz in, wide open the end zone. Firing on all cylinders, Spark plug Brandon James got the capacity homecoming crowd on its feet. There's the snap. Two steps to the right. Low rugby style punt inside the 10. James picks it up the six. Far side 10. James 15, 20, 25, 30. Brandon James in the 40. Trying to outrun the kicker. Down the left sideline. And finally caught. 
Falling for the ball. There's the snap. He hands it off to Harvin. Looking for running over the inside. He's to the 10. He's to the 5. He's going to take it all away. Oh, my. Harvin, he just exploded out of there. Though the Gator D made it tough on the Commodores, Vandy got in for a score. But... Florida's offense didn't let that slow them down. Tebow with the gun, hands the ball off on a running place right up the middle of the field. A great run here now for the Gators as they get the ball to the 30-yard line. Keiston Moore coming to the sideline. There's the stamp to Tebow. On play action, rolls left and throw the ball underneath with a receiver. And down on sideline, Jared Payson, he will score a touchdown. Feeding off the Gator offense, Florida's defense took it up a notch. There's the snap. Adams jumping back, flushed out, rolls left, fires, it's tipped, and it's intercepted. Jermaine Cunningham to the 30, 25-yard line, Cunningham's inside the 20, and Cunningham out of bounds. Tim Tebow and the offense seized the opportunity. Tebow in the gun from the right hash, dropping back to throw, fires out to the right for Harvin. He makes the catch, and he's tackled out of bounds at the four-yard line. Tebow in the gun, a low snap, rolls off to his left under pressure. He throws, he looks, he's got a touchdown. Bubba Caldwell, oh, man. The Gator D again came up with a stop, and the offense took advantage of it. No backs for Tebow. He takes the snap. He looks and looks, and he fires. He's got Harvin at the 47. Cuts up field. Five, and down to the Commodore 40-yard line. There's the snap to Tebow. Dropping to throw and firing wide open in the end zone. And quarantine. Touchdown. Bubba Caldwell. The Gators were up 35-7 to at the half. But the scrappy Commodores still had some life in them. The snap to Adams under a blitz. He has to throw quickly. He fires in the end zone and it's broken up. Beautifully done by Joe Hayden. Though Vanderbilt came away with three, that didn't slow the Gator offense on the next two possessions with some help from special teams. There's the snap and the kick is away. Another high boomer. Fair catch signal. And at the 14 yard line, the ball has been muffed. Free ball. And it's up for debate. And the Gators are going to win the ball. Harvin's the running back. Here's Tebow rolling right. And now going to turn run the ball up the field of the five. Get hit near the goal line. He's down near the one-yard line. Takes the snap. Looks to run off to left. Now cuts up toward the middle of the field. And goes in for the touchdown. Tim Tebow. And he boots it deep. End over end. James backpedals. Goes back. Over the shoulder catch at the one. Far hash. 5, 10, now Pierce left 20, 25, 30. James 35 to the 40, the near sideline across midfield. Tebow calling for the ball, there's the snap. He hands it to Harvin, running up the middle of the field, and now makes a cut to the outside. He's gone. He'll go into the end zone on a marvelous 13-yard run that started straight up, and in a jet step off to the right, green grass, pay dirt, touchdown. Gator cornerback, Wandy Pierre-Louis, stepped up to bring Vandy's drive to a halt. And Florida walked away with a satisfying 49-22 homecoming win. Multi-talented Percy Harvin became the first player in Florida football history to get over 100 yards rushing and 100 yards receiving in the same game. Week 10 had the Gators visiting always dangerous South Carolina and Steve Spurrier. The Gamecocks started off with the ball, but not for long. South Carolina fumbled on the first play of the game, leaving Florida with great field position. There's the snap, Tebow dropping back, looking, stepping up, feeling heat, gonna run the ball to the 20, coming right to the 15, and gonna go out of bounds near the 11 yard line. He got clipped pretty good, no running backs. Tebow calling for the ball, there's the snap. He looks and looks and now finds it open, gonna run the ball up the middle of the field. He's spinning down toward the goal line. He's in, touchdown, Tim Tebow scores. With the help of the Gators special teams, the offense got back on the field. There's the snap. Now here's sucked up, taking a couple steps to the right, and the kick has been blocked. They took too much time, and the Gators got in there and made a beautiful play on the ball. Trends to the left, and again the rocker step as Tebow drops back to throw and fires to the end zone. He's got a receiver. Touchdown, Jared Faison. South Carolina answered back with seven, and after a Jared Faison fumble, the Gamecocks took the lead. Unfazed, the Gators came roaring back. Tebow, a short shotgun formation, takes the snap, and there's the rocker step. Drops the throw again and sings this ball to the right side, and there's a Gator catch and a first down at the 14-yard line. Tebow with the shotgun, takes the snap, rolls off to his left, gets a block, turns the corner, and he scores a touchdown. The Gators would finish the half with big plays on both sides of the ball. Mitchell looking to throw and firing, and it's going to be intercepted. Picked off by the Gators down the field. Tony Joyner on the INT brings it back in the Gamecock territory. 
Tebow in the shotgun. Takes the rocker step and drops back to throw and fires the ball down the field for Bubba Caldwell at the 30-yard line, near side of the 25, and out of bounds. There's the stamp, and this is going to be Tebow on a run. Getting to the 20, near side to the 15, and getting to the 10-yard line and out of bounds. He's got a Gators first down. Now Faison comes in motion. Tebow fakes the ball to Faison. Going to run the ball straight up the middle of the field. He'll score a touchdown. Florida would open the half with another solid drive. He makes the snap, looks to throw the football, and fires the ball down the field. He's got a wide open receiver. It's the tight end, Aaron Hernandez, of the catch, and he breaks the tackle at the 45. He's to the 40. He's to the 35. Big Aaron Hernandez pounding his way inside the 30. Here's Tebow on a shovel toss to James. 30, 25, 20, 15, 10. James, 5, and James tripped up down at the 4-yard line. Tebow in the gun, fakes the ball to face and runs it up the middle of the field. He's in. Touchdown. Tim Tebow scores his fourth rushing touchdown of the game. The fired-up Gator D took over. Mitchell is dropping back, looking to throw, and fires down to the end zone. It is incomplete and broken up by Brandon Spikes, the linebacker. Mitchell takes the snap, drops back seven yards under pressure. He's hit, and he goes down. Is he sacked? Eric Harvey got him. Carlos Dunlap came in and got him. South Carolina came away with three, and Florida would answer back with a Joey Ehas three as well. On the next drive, the Gamecocks scored again, and the South Carolina crowd was back in the game. Undeterred, NCAA return leader Brandon James and the special teams would get the Gators back on track. This kick is a deep ball, sending James back to the two-yard line between the hash marks. He comes to the left, to the 10, to the 20, to the 25, to the 30, to the 35-yard line, and dragging a guy forward. There's the snap to Tebow on an option. Tosses the ball to Keiston Moore at the 50. Moore 45, Moore 40. Moore is spinning to the 35-yard line. There's the snap to Tebow. He jumps back and now is going to run the football. Gets down to the goal line, hit near the goal line, trying to pound his way forward. Touchdown! Tim Tebow. And the Gator defense would keep Gamecock quarterback Blake Mitchell scrambling. Mitchell under some pressure. He's hit as he throws again. It's incomplete. They're going to run the ball and get a first down here. On a quick handoff, the ball comes loose. And Florida gets the ball after the Mike Davis fumble. Though South Carolina would score again, it wasn't enough. Florida finished off the Gamecocks with another touchdown and an impressive 51-31 win. Tim Tebow, who accounted for all seven scores, broke Florida's single-season touchdown record with 19. Howard Schnellenberger and his Florida Atlantic University Owls came to Gainesville looking for their sixth win of the year. This was a team that the Gators weren't looking past. Coach told me that would be a great win for them to get to the bowl game. Just told me that would be a great win to get to the bowl game that team you're playing. Lock in, get number eight, take care of yourself. Play as hard as you can. Here's the snap to Tebow on play action. He drops back, wants to throw the ball, fires down the right side. And there's a catch made by Bubba Caldwell. Takes the snap. Drops back, looks, and looks. Now throws the short pass out here to the right. And he's got Cornelius Ingram at the 47th face of the running back. And here's Tebow on play action, dropping back to throw. And fires over to Bubba Cole at the 15, at the 10, and finally brought down at the 8-yard line. There's the snap. The handoff to Keiston Moore. He's fighting his way inside the 5, slips the tackle, and he takes it in. Touchdown! Oh, my! Keiston Moore, not to be denied, slipped through and scored on a 9-yard run. The Gator defense and special teams came out on the attack. Second and nine, Smith the throw, and it's batted down as Joe Hayden came off the corner and got the pass break up behind the line of scrimmage. Jared Faison back to return. Here comes the kick, and it's going to be blocked right up the middle of the field. The Gators come, and they block it, and it's picked up by Marcus Manson, and he's going to take it, and he's going to score a touchdown. Oh, my! And Florida's offense was humming. Here now is uh, Tebow going to throw a shovel pass to the tight end here, Hernandez. 35, Hernandez to the 40, and Hernandez to the 45 using a blocker. Gets out near midfield, crosses midfield, gets inside the 45. There's the snap. Tebow drops back, looks to throw, fires into the end zone. Wide open in quarantine. There's a touchdown for Cornelius Ingram. Single receiver Caldwell to the right. There's the snap to Tebow. He bobbles it, picks it up, and throws the ball down the side for Bubba. He makes the catch. He's going to be inside the 10 and just got tripped up. Here's the snap to Tebow, trying to roll to the right, trying to turn the corner. He'll score out wide to the right. Touchdown, Tim Tebow. Tebow has just set an SEC record for rushing touchdowns. That's his 20th. He's got 20 rushing touchdowns. He's got 20 
plus passing touchdown, and no one has ever accomplished that. Tim Tebow continues his marvelous play. Though the Gator D put up a good fight, FAU scored again, nipping at the Gators' heels 20 to 28. Florida wasn't about to end the half on that note. Tebow in the gun, takes the snap, looks to throw, looks, looks, fires it off safely to the left, and a receiver in there. Bubba Caldwell with a catch, and he's just tied the Gators' all-time record of 172 career receptions. Three timeouts left. The Gators quickly throw it out here wide to the right. Caldwell the catch. Caldwell across the 45. With that reception, Andre Caldwell became Florida's new all-time leader with 173 career receptions. Carlos Alvarez, who had the previous record, was at Florida Field for the occasion. Snap, looking, looking, fires over the middle of the field. Cornelius Ingram, he's got the catch, touchdown! Oh, my! Cornelius Ingram scores his second touchdown catch of the day. The Gators finished the half up 32-20. to Florida would come out in the second half with big plays on both sides of the ball. Two running backs in there with Tebow. Hands the ball off to Moore, and Moore runs straight ahead. He's got touchdown. Backs in a nice set. Rose and Pierre, and here's Pierre on a stretch run trying to run to the right, and he won't turn the corner as Justin Trento got in there and made that play. Here's the snap to Tebow. He looks and looks and fires down toward the end zone. Hernandez trying to get the ball in traffic. He's there. He's got it. Oh, my. What a catch. Somehow, Aaron Hernandez just wrestled that ball away for a touchdown grab. And here's Smith on play action. Dropping back under some pressure. He'll be hit and he'll be sacked. And now here's the snap to Smith. He fumbles the ball. He picks it up. And he's hit and knocked backward by Justin Trano. And now here's Clayton rolling right under pressure. Now turning the corner of the 10 to the 15, drops the football, and the Gators have recovered the ball. And here's Newton on an option keeper, going to run the ball to the 20, to the 15, the 10, the 5, touchdown! Cameron Newton scores! Florida won 59 to 20, not allowing any points in the second half. But I'd like uh, a gentleman to come up here. He's an attorney <coughs> in Tallahassee. He's a Florida graduate. Up until about an hour and a half ago, he was a leading receiver in the history of the University of Florida. And I want to introduce this gentleman because he's a first-class guy. He's everything you want, to, you want out of a Gator. He's doing great for himself. He represents the university the right way. One of the great receivers ever to play here. And I think it's due to the new number one receiver in the University of Florida history to have a game ball given to him by this gentleman right here. So without any further ado, I'd like to introduce a first-class individual, attorney from uh, Tallahassee, a Florida graduate, uh, Carlos Alvarez. Yeah. And I want to tell you, I've held this record for 38 years, and people have talked to me about my record. It was never my record. It was my team's record. All these guys, and Bubba will tell you the same thing, it's not his record. He'll represent all of you, but it's a team record. If it wasn't for the offensive line, if it wasn't for quarterbacks like Tim and John Reeves for me and the great coaches, it just wouldn't happen. And it's a team achievement. And I'm glad that Bubba's going to be able to represent it over all the years. And the only thing Bubba did wrong today, he should have broken my single game record. But he, that's up. That's upcoming too. Give me that ball. Where's Where's Bubba? Bubba. Bubba. Yeah. The last game of the regular season was the annual showdown against arch-rival Florida State University. This was senior day, and saying goodbye to an overachieving class who had won an SEC and national title was bittersweet. A safety from Haines City, Florida, joined by his family members, number 19, Tony Joyner! An offensive lineman from Sarasota, Florida, joined by his family members, number 67, Drew Miller! A wide receiver from Tampa, Florida, joined by his family members, number five, Andre Caldwell! dedication, hard work, accomplishments, and national championship. Gators, your 2007 senior class. One more time.
timeless here, Gators. The Gator defense took a while to find its rhythm, but made enough plays to limit FSU to just a field goal. Then, it was the Gator offense's turn. Because of some FSU bulletin board material during the week, Tim Tebow came out on a mission. Here's Tebow taking the snap, looking to throw, and fires over the middle for C.I. Ingram has the ball in FSU territory with a first down. Three receivers to the left. Tebow dropping back, stepping up. Now going to run. 45, 40. He's to the 35. He's got a first down. Tebow takes the snap on a rocker step in some trouble. He eludes pressure. Going to run the ball to the 20, to the 15, to the 10, to the 5. And he's in. Touchdown. Oh, my. Tim Tebow touchdown on a miraculous escape for a touchdown run. The Gator defense seemed to feed off the frenzied atmosphere of the sellout swamp crowd and kept FSU quarterback Drew Weatherford on the run. Here's Weatherford dropping back under a blitz by Cunningham, and Cunningham's got him. He throws the ball away. Third and 12. Out of the gun, Weatherford drops back, rolls the pocket to the right, wants to make a throw. He's hit as he throws, and he fires incomplete, but a big hit by Justin Trotto. Tebow and the Florida offense took advantage of every first half possession. Here now is Harvin getting a handoff and trying to run. Now cuts back to the left, to the 40. He's in FSB territory and down to the 32 yard run. Here's Tebow on a play action, dropping back under pressure now to throw the deep ball down the field for the end zone. And it's Lewis Murphy. Touchdown. He's there. He just got inside the right corner. Lewis Murphy. Touchdown. While the Gator defense kept attacking. Here now, Weatherford drops back, hands the ball off. Parker can't turn the corner, trying to sweep to the right as the Gators got the tackle there from Derek Harvey. Here's Weatherford handing the ball off to Parker, running off to the left, and nothing there. Weatherford dropping back to throw and fires the ball, and it is going to be incomplete and almost intercepted. Here now is the handoff to the fullback, and he's hit and pushed back. Cedric Holloway, 248-pound fullback. Looks like he didn't make it. Although the Seminoles came away with three, Urban Meyer's game plan was working to perfection. Here's the snap. Tebow dropping the throw and fires at left side. Tony De Singham, first down catch on the far sideline. Snap to Tebow. Tebow stepping back, looking, looking, throws it on the field. Has Caldwell at the 40 yard line. Bubba between the hash marks, breaks the tackle, and slips inside the 35. Here's Tebow dropping back the throw and fires it off to the left. Lewis Murphy with a catch, and he's going to turn the corner. He's got a touchdown. Lewis Murphy, second touchdown catch of the night. The inspired Gator D once again stopped FSU in the red zone. Off the left hash, here's Weatherford handing it off to Parker, and Parker is cut down on a beautiful play by Brandon Spikes. Weatherford, a seven-yard drop, looking to throw, under pressure, hitting the throws. Fires down to the goal line, it's broken up at the goal line. Here's Anton Smith in the game, taking a handoff, trying to roll off to the left side, and Brandon Spike shoots in there. Florida finished the first half with a Joey Ehas field goal, while FSU did the same on a record-breaking 60-yard field goal. Starting the second half, Tebow and company were in a zone, dominating the line of scrimmage and the FSU defense. Here now is the handoff on a quick header to Moore. Keeston Moore into the secondary, inside the 50, inside the 45. Dukes his way to the left, into the 40-yard line, into the 36-yard line. There's the snap to Tebow on an option, tosses the ball to Harvard to the right side. He's to the 25, he's to the 20. He slips the tackle, the 15, the 10, and finally cramped down at the 6-yard line. There's the snap to Tebow. He's trying to run for the record, and he's in the touchdown. Oh, my! Tebow scores on a six-yard run, and Tim Tebow has just tied an NCAA record, 22 rushing touchdowns. The Florida special teams continued to make plays, while the defense kept FSU pin deep. Weatherford drops the shot, getting Anton Smith the ball carry now on a handoff, trying to turn the corner, and he can't do it. FSU just three for nine tonight on third down. Here's Weatherford dropping back under some pressure. He's hit and dropped. The Florida offense, with all its playmakers finally healthy, continued its onslaught against the outmanned Seminoles. Here's Tebow, handing the ball off to James, trying to squirt off the left, breaks the tackle, crosses the 50. Harvin the running back. There's Tebow giving the ball off to Harvin. Harvin scoots it inside the 40 and running strong inside the 35. Gators with a first down, and here's Tebow looking to throw and going deep down the sideline for Bubba Caldwell. He's there! Touchdown! All's well for Caldwell on a touchdown from 31 yards. While the Gator defense continued its best performance of the year. Parker the tailback. 
He takes the ball, trying to turn to the left, and the Gators run him down. Brandon Spikes had more speed to the corner, and he hit him back for a loss on the play. Weatherford, under center, takes the snap and tosses the ball out wide to Parker, trying to go to the wide. Joyner grabs him and throws him down. Oh, my! Joyner, this time, outran Parker to the other corner for another loss on the play of two more yards. And the Gators take the football. FSU turns it over on down. Versatile Percy Harvin and the offense tacked on one more score to finish the blowout in style. Here's Tebow, and he hands the ball to Harvin off the left. The 20 to the 15 to cut back inside the 10. It's on the 5, and Harvin hurry into the goal line. He's in! Touchdown, Percy Harvin! The Gators finished the night with 541 yards of total offense. The 45-12 victory was one of the most lopsided in the series history and showed a nationwide audience why the Gators would be a team to be reckoned with in 2008. And Tim Tebow had a date with destiny in New York December 8th. Of all the talented playmakers who made up one of the most explosive offenses in Florida history, the remarkable sophomore quarterback was the linchpin. Tebow not only became the only player in NCAA history to both run and pass for over 20 touchdowns in a single season, but he accounted for a staggering 72% of the Gators' offense in 2007. In addition to being awarded with the prestigious Davy O'Brien Award for college football's most outstanding quarterback and the Maxwell Award for the nation's most well-rounded player, Tim was paid the ultimate compliment for his Superman-like performance when he was awarded the Heisman Trophy as America's premier player. From now on, your name will be followed by the words Heisman Trophy winner. Without further ado, the winner of this year's Heisman Trophy is Tim Tebow. Florida. joined fellow Florida quarterback legends Steve Spurrier and Danny Werfel as the only other Gators to win the coveted award. I don't know exactly what it means right now, but you know, I'm looking forward to finding out. And you know, I think it's just awesome that you know you're you're known forever as you know a Heisman Trophy winner, and you know that's uh, that's very special. And you know, yeah, you know, it's an honor. It really is. It's overwhelming, and you know, kind of at a loss for words, I guess. The Heisman race capped off an unforgettable season that featured historic Gator records falling. 30-plus point runaways over arch rivals Tennessee and Florida State. A young, scrappy defense that grew up before our eyes. And at the end of the year, the whole country knew that Florida was for real. And the best news of all, these young Gators are just getting warmed up. Quarterbacks come in different shapes, sizes, and with different styles. For Florida's new starter, Tim Tebow, when it comes to the position, it's all about passion. 
Fans knew about Tim Tebow's heralded high school career, but last year, they learned the freshman quarterback brings a passion and desire for the game second to none. And now as the Gators starter, Tim will temper it somewhat, but he knows of only one way to play. Very passionate. I love playing football. I have my whole life, and so and you, I think when you love doing something so much, you're very passionate about it. He is a great leader. He, he gets the people around him excited. Um, gets you know our whole team brings up all their emotions uh, to a frenzy, and and that's his style. It's that style of play that not only inspires the offense but the defense as well. I think he has a little loud back in. You know? I mean, he's a 6'3", 230-pound quarterback. He's not afraid to stick his head in. I mean, fourth and one, third and two, you, you, you hear the crowd chanting Tebow, Tebow. He's a, he's a guy that's going to get you that, and he's a tough kid. This year, Tim took over as the starting quarterback and made the mental transition needed to lead the team. Knowing what everybody's going to do and being able to communicate with that and have an ice water in your veins, and so they can always look at you and they feel calm and they know what to do and they feel, hey, we can get this done when they see you. And his focus is not, I gotta scramble around and make a big play. His focus is standing in the pocket, making all the throws. And, uh, you know, he wants to be a complete quarterback. The quarterback position at Florida is one of the most visible in college football. And with Tebow at the helm, he continued that long tradition of excellence as a Florida QB. Just to be looked at as a, as a Florida quarterback with all those other great Florida quarterbacks. And, you know, it's an honor for me uh, growing up watching those guys, Danny Werfel, Shane Matthews, Rex Grossman, and playing with Chris. And, you know, it's, uh, it's an honor. Um, and it's also motivating for me because they've had such good careers and you don't want to go out there and, you know, uh, not live up to, you know, what they've done. Tim Tebow had nothing short of an amazing year. And even with all the attention, he never lost his focus. He's as well uh, grounded a human being as I've ever been around. He's a guy that uh, has great appreciation for what he does every day. He's a very professional. I mean, he, he the time he spends in preparation is as much, more than every guy we've had, and we've had some guys spend a lot of time and getting ready to go. And towards the end of the season, Tim Tebow's name was starting to be mentioned as a serious Heisman contender, and that's when he saved his best performance for the last SEC game of the year. Tebow calling for the ball. There's the snap. He looks and looks and now finds it open. Going to run the ball up the middle of the field. He's spinning down toward the goal line. He's in. Touchdown. Tim Tebow scores. But again, the rocker step as Tebow drops back to throw and fires to the end zone. He's got a receiver. Touchdown. Tebow in the shotgun. Takes the snap. Rolls off to his left. Gets a block. Turns the corner. And he scores a touchdown. Now Faison comes in motion. Tebow fakes the ball to Faison. Going to run the ball straight up the middle of the field. He'll score a touchdown. Tim Tebow on a four-yard touchdown run. Tebow in the gun. Fakes the ball to Faison. Runs it up the middle of the field. He's in. Touchdown. Tim Tebow scores his fourth rushing touchdown of the game. Third and goal from the five. There's the snap to Tebow. He comes back and now going to run the football. Gets down to the goal line. Hit near the goal line. Trying to pound his way forward. Touchdown. Here's Tebow rolling off to the left and looking to throw into the end zone. He's got a wide open receiver. It's Bubba Caldwell. Touchdown. Tebow accounted either running or passing for all seven Florida touchdowns. Changing the young sophomore from Heisman contender to Heisman leader. Tim capped off the season with an emotional performance against arch rival Florida State. Tebow takes the snap on a rocker step in some trouble. He eludes pressure, gonna run the ball to the 20, to the 15, to the 10, to the 5, and he's in! Touchdown! Oh my! Tim Tebow touchdown on a miraculous escape for a touchdown run. Here's Tebow on a play action, dropping back under pressure now to throw the deep ball down the field toward the end zone. It's Lewis Murphy, touchdown! He's there, he just got inside the right corner. But the Heisman Trophy ballot process is not an exact science, and all Gators held their breath in anticipation of the much heralded announcement. Without further ado, the winner of this year's Heisman Trophy is Tim Tebow. It says a lot about him, it says a lot about his coaches, it says a lot about his family, it says a lot about the University of Florida, and it's just a, it's a special achievement. It changes his life forever, but also gives the Gator Nation so much pride. He's just such a great kid. I'm so excited for him. He's had a great year, and I just told him to enjoy it. But relax, get ready to smile and sign autographs. But still with all the accolades and attention, Tim finds a way to keep things in perspective. You know, I think it's an honor for our whole team because anytime anybody gets, 
you know, uh, nominated for an individual award, it goes back to the team. You know, that's how I treat it as, as a team honor because, you know, without a great offense line and a receiver and, you know, a great coach and Coach Mullen, there's no way I could be talked about for any accolades. You never know how somebody's going to play until, until their time is, you know, come and until their number is called. But, um, I mean, I, I, I couldn't imagine, you know, our team right now, where we'd be without him. He is the emotional leader, you know, the spiritual leader. Um, the leader in general, is, I mean, he's the quarterback of the team, you know, and he's what keeps us together. He's the glue that keeps us together. Sets a great example for everybody all the time. He's probably the toughest person I've ever met, the hardest working person I've ever met. He's not the kind of kid who'd ever not sign their signature because he's worried of cheaping his signature. He's not too good for anybody. He's always, you know, happy to see people, whether, you know, he's known you your whole life or he's met you, known you for one day. He's just that kind of person. Oh, he's like a son, you know. Uh, he's a guy that uh, we talk about everything. We have some conversations that, uh, uh, I mean, I'm very proud of. He's, he's a guy, he's a grown man. He's not a child. He's a guy that uh, uh, I've been very close with players, and he's as close as I've ever been with a guy. It's just an honor to be able to coach a young guy like Tim, and, uh, you know, the, the effort that, that he puts in, the time, uh, all the work that he does, uh, it's just great to see him uh, be uh, rewarded for all that time he's put in this year. It, it's an honor and a privilege to be a, you know, a Gator, part of the Gator family, a Gator quarterback. You're, you're on a platform and a lot of people looking at you. I have the opportunity to influence a lot of people, a lot of kids who look up to Florida players, like I looked up to Danny Werfel, people like that. I try to use that, um, that platform for good and, and try to influence people's lives for the better. Who knows how long you're going to have that, uh, that platform, and so better take advantage of it while you have it. Oh, there's no doubt his faith is the most important thing. His family is the second most important thing. And I think winning football games and representing this great school is third. And uh, he's got everything in order. There's the snap with Tebow. Takes one jab, step forward, drops back, looks to throw. Fires for Cooper for the end zone. He's got it. He's there. Touchdown. Cool. 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 Bull calling for the ball. There's the snap. He hands it to Hireman, running up the middle of the field, and now makes a cut to the outside. He's gone. He'll go into the end zone on a marvelous 13-yard run that started straight up, and in a jet step off to the right, green grass, painter, touchdown. First and goal, nine-yard line. There's the snap to Tebow. Trying to run inside, now pops off to the left and runs hard inside the five. Down to the goal line. He's in. Touchdown. A powerful run. Here's the snap to Tebow. Tebow looking to throw. Wide open receiver. Quarantine in the end zone. Touchdown. Cornelius Ingram. Oh, my. He was all alone. Peters with a first down. And here's Tebow looking to throw. And going deep down the sideline for Bubba Caldwell. He's there. Touchdown. All's well for Caldwell on a touchdown from 31 yards. Here's the snap to Tebow. Tebow from the end zone looks to throw the ball down the field for Harvin. He's got it! Here's the handoff to Moore. Breaks the tackle 35 to the 30. Skips inside the 30. Still running hard inside the 25. Keaston Moore with Moore! Here's Tebow. Now the rocker step. Comes back. Looks to throw the ball deep down the field. Sprinting down for Lewis Murphy. He makes the catch and he's going to score. How oh, my touchdown! 66 yard bomb! Tebow to Lewis Murphy, and the Gators have taken the lead. There's the snap to Tebow looking to run it. He's got running room. 45, pop to the outside. Tebow to the 40. Tebow 35 near sideline. Oh, what a run. Tebow in the gun, takes the snap, wants to run. Now jump pass into the end zone, wide open. It's a touchdown. Aaron Hernandez. Here now is the handoff on a quick header to Moore. Keeps it more into the secondary. Inside the 50, inside the 45. Jukes his way into the left, into the 40-yard line, into the 36-yard line. Tebow takes the snap, and now Pump Fake's going to throw the ball deep, long, down to Harvin. Harvin makes the catch, and he's tackled at the two-yard line. In the gun, takes the snap, looking, looking, fires over the middle of the field. Cornelius Ringram, he's got the catch, touchdown. Oh, my. Cornelius Ingram scores his second touchdown catch of the day. Gators first down inside the 25. And here's an inside handoff to the left for Harvin to the 20. Harvin to the 15. Harvin to the 10. Harvin to the 5. Touchdown. Oh, mercy, mercy. Takes the snap, looks to throw the football and fires the ball down the field. He's got a wide open receiver. It's the tight end Aaron Hernandez of the catch. And he breaks the tackle at the 45. He's to the 40. He's to the 35. Big Aaron Hernandez pounding his way inside the 30. There's the snap to Tebow on an 
Option tosses the ball to Harbin to the right side. He's for the 25, he's for the 20. He slips the tackle, the 15, the 10, and finally cramped down at the six yard line. There's the snap to T Boys. Dumps back and now gonna run the football. Gets down to the goal line, hit near the goal line, trying to pound his way forward. Touchdown! Tim Tebow. There's the snap to Tebow. He looks and looks and fires down toward the end zone. Hernandez trying to get the ball in traffic. He's there! He's got it! Oh my! What a catch! Somehow Aaron Hernandez just wrestled that ball away for a touchdown grab. There's Tebow, and he hands the ball to Harvin off the left. To the 20, to the 15, to cut back inside the 10, inside the 5, and Harvin hurry into the goal line. He's in! Touchdown, Percy Harvin! Tebow in the shotgun, takes that jab step forward, drops back and throw, and airs it out, fires a deep ball down the field, and it's going to be deflected, and it's going to be caught! There's the snap to Tebow, trying to run off to his left, but looks like he might want to throw. He's surveying the field, tries to come left, now throws into the end zone, and there's Keiston Moore! It's a score! Touchdown! Oh, my! Tebow baited them to the last moment, and yet he's tossed one to Moore, and it's nine to nothing. Tebow taking the snap, gonna run the ball straight up the middle of the field. Touchdown! Tebow! Touchdown! Here's Tebow on a play action, dropping back under pressure now to throw the deep ball down the field for the end zone, and it's Lewis Murphy! Touchdown! He's there! He just got inside the right corner! Lewis Murphy, touchdown! Here's the snap to Tebow, got an option now to Harvin on an end around, trying to go to the opposite side of the right, to the 20, to the 15, to cut back inside the 10, spinning to the goal line! Oh my! Julian Harvin! You just scored a touchdown on a magnificent 19 yard! Tebow takes the snap on a rocker step in some trouble. He eludes pressure, gonna run the ball to the 20, to the 15, to the 10, to the 5, and he's in! Touchdown! Oh my! Tim Tebow touchdown on a miraculous escape for a touchdown run. Woodson dropping back under some pressure. He's hit, and he'll be sacked again. Mitchell looking to throw, and Flowery, and it's going to be intercepted. Picked off by the Gators down the field. Tony Joyner on the INT brings it back in the Gamecock territory. Second and nine. Spit the throw, and it's batted down as Joe Hayden came off the corner and got the pass break up behind the line of scrimmage. Here's Weatherford dropping back under a blitz by Cunningham, and Cunningham's got him. He throws the ball away. Third and 12, out of the gun, Weatherford drops back, rolls the pocket to the right, wants to make a throw. He's hit as he throws, and he fires incomplete, but a big hit by Justin Trello. There's the snap, Mitchell under some pressure. He's hit as he throws again, it's incomplete. 
And now here's the snap to Smith. He fumbles the ball. He picks it up, and he's hit. Knocked backward by Justin Trano. Weatherford dropping back to throw and fires the ball, and it is going to be incomplete and almost intercepted. Weatherford, a seven-yard drop, looking to throw. Under pressure, hit as he throws. Fires down to the goal line. It's broken up at the goal line. FSU just three for nine tonight on third down. Here's Weatherford dropping back under some pressure. He's hit and up. Mackenzie Adams on play action, dropping to throw. A deep, long ball down the sideline. It's going to be intercepted. A beautiful interception by Juan Pierre-Louis. He brings it back on the near side. Now Pierre's off to the right at the 35-yard line. Off the left hash, here's Weatherford handing it off to Parker, and Parker is cut down on a beautiful play by Brandon Spikes. Flynn takes the snap and looks off to the left to throw. LaFell had it, and it's going to be deflected and intercepted. Joe Hayden has a pick for Florida. Hayden with the football. Parker the tailback. He takes the ball, trying to turn to the left, and the Gators run him down. Brandon Spikes had more speed to the corner, and he hit him back for a loss on the play. Weatherford under center takes the snap and tosses the ball out wide to Parker trying to go to the wide. Joiner grabs him and throws him down. Oh my! Joiner this time outran Parker to the other corner for another loss on the play of two more yards. And the Gators take the football. FSU turns it over on down. Here's a handoff to Foster. He fumbles the football. A loose ball down to the field. It's up for grabs. Picked up by Dustin Doe. He's going to take it all the way. There you go, Dustin Doe. Oh, my. There's the snap. A little high. The kick has been blocked. The Gators block the ball. It's down at the nine-yard line, inside the nine, down near the five-yard line, and the Gators, oh, my! There's the snap. Two steps to the right, low rugby-style punt inside the 10. James picks it up to the six. Far side 10, James 15, 20, 25, 30. Brandon James to the 40, trying to outrun the kicker. Down the left sideline, and finally caught. Gets it high, end over end. Nice kick taken down at the four yard line by James. To the 10 far side, 15 20. James 25 30. James on the sideline 40. James 45. James at midfield. James at the 45. James inside the 40. And he finally got caught from behind. There's the snap and the kick is away. Another high boomer. Fair catch signal. And at the 14 yard line, the ball has been muffed. Free ball. And it's up for debate. And the Gators are going to win the ball. And they kick it to, to James, who have kicked the ball at about the 13-yard line. To the 20, to the 25, to the 30, up the middle of the field, to the 50. There goes James to the 40. The outside spinning away, trying to break a tackle, and slips out to the around the 30-yard line. And he boots it deep, end over end. James backpedals, goes back, over the shoulder catch at the 1. Far hash, 5, 10, now Veers left, 20, 25, 30. James, 35, to the 40, the near sideline, across midfield. There's the snap. And now here's Suck Up taking a couple steps to the right, and the kick has been blocked. They took too much time, and the Gators got in there and made a beautiful play on the ball. Here comes the Kentucky kickoff. It's end over end. Will be returned from the one yard line. Far hash. James 10, 15, 20. James 25 through the hole, 35, 40. James down the left sideline in Kentucky territory, running out of bounds. Jared Faison back to return. Here comes the kick, and it's going to be blocked. Right up the middle of the field, the Gators come and they block it, and it's picked up by Marcus Manson, and he's going to take it, and he's going to score a touchdown. Oh, my! The Gators set up a return. Colquitt's kick is away, a very nice kick. Back to the 17-yard line, James, to the 20, to the 25, trying to be on the left, 30. He's got an opening to the 40. James at midfield. James trying to outrun the kicker. He's made take 